Reasons why they have ghosted you. Stick around to the end as I reveal possible reasons why they have decided to ghost you, not contact you back, leave you on red, etc. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description down below. Once upon a time, Sam matched with a beautiful woman on a dating app. He couldn't believe his luck. It was a cold winter's evening. He was alone watching Netflix, but on the dating app. And she messaged him first. He smiled as they flirted backwards and forwards. Shall we take this conversation to the phone? He asked. She said yes, and gave him her number. Sam was on fire. A beautiful single girl, just his type, local too. He knew he had to ask her out and strike whilst the iron was hot. They spoke on the phone. They laughed, joked, and really connected. Sam couldn't believe the conversation they were having, the chemistry. It was like something out of a movie. What are you doing next week? Let's meet on Friday for a drink, he asked. Sure, I'm excited to meet you, she said. Sam hung up the phone, smiling. What unbelievable luck. It was so easy, so simple. He'd been single for a long time, and just like that, he got a date. They text throughout the week. The chemistry was on fire. It never got dull, never got boring. It was amazing. The morning of their date, Sam texts, See you tonight, 8 o'clock. Look forward to seeing you. She read the message, and for the first time since they matched and connected, she never replied. Then she never answered his calls or any other messages. Sam went down to the bar in the hope that she'd show up. And lo and behold, she never did. Sam got stood up. Sam got let down. Got ghosted. He did absolutely nothing wrong. And he felt completely crushed. Who could blame him? I've been there plenty of times. Haven't you as well? Possibly you have, hence why you're watching this video right now. Why does this happen? Why do people do this? Here are several reasons why they've ghosted you. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. The example I used of Sam in the previous part of this video is very real and a very regular occurrence between men and women. Sam was so upset, he couldn't work out why it happened or how it happened. To drown his sorrows, he went to a local pub the night of his date as he drank staring blankly ahead, trying to make sense of it all. He kept checking his phone like a man possessed. Despite not hearing from her for an entire day, he assumed that maybe, just maybe, she'd get in touch. But she never did. Ever. Again, trying to make sense of it as he sat in the pub alone on a busy Friday night feeling distraught. He told himself the following. She must not be interested. Simple as that. Because if she was, she'd have come to see me or rejected me or let me down. Anything. We live in strange times where people hide behind their phones, social media, not having to face the consequences of their behavior. In the grand scheme of things, did this date commit a crime, betray or really hurt Sam? No. She just didn't text him back or answer his calls. She stood him up. She ghosted him. They had never met before, and ghosting is not illegal. Look, I'm not sitting here excusing her behavior. I've been in Sam's shoes plenty of times when I was single. But truthfully, Sam's conclusion was right, because she was just not interested. Despite how she might have acted before, flirting with him, etc. Maybe she was an attention seeker. Who knows, and frankly, who cares? Sam finished his drink and headed straight home to bed. He was wet, cold and miserable. He was done wasting time waiting for the wrong person to have the decency to talk to him. He deleted her number. I'm going to go out on a limb here and share the truth. Sadly, they're not interested. Even if you think you did nothing wrong, it's just a fact, unfortunately. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp's Therapy Online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video, and live chat. You can match with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, BetterHelp makes switching therapists easy. Therapy is such a great way to take care of ourselves mentally. 
just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills. And it can support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Now go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with BetterHelp. Another possible reason why they've ghosted you is because they're childish and immature. I grew up in a different generation with a different mindset where I face my problems head on and be honest and tell the truth where I can, even if it hurts us and other people. But some people don't do that. Some are so childish well into adulthood that they think and can act and behave in a certain way. Sarah went on dates with a guy who was charming and things were going well. They shared a lot in common. There was great chemistry. They were a good match on paper, or so she thought. She decided to invite her new man for drinks at a friend's house. She wanted them to mingle and so on. We're going to have some drinks. I'd love for you to be my date. It'll be fun, she said. She sent him a text asking that. And guess what? He didn't reply. She called him. No answer. She asked if he was alright or something had happened. The truth was, he didn't want to meet her friends. He did not want to have to socialise with her friends. He wanted to be selfish. He wanted things on his terms only and sold her dreams just to feel good about himself. And when things were getting serious, he decided to ghost. Because he had the emotional intelligence of a child, not a man. He liked her, but was immature in his approach to dating. Sarah was devastated and felt like she had been led on by him. So when in two weeks she still heard nothing back, she deleted his number. Six months later, the man got in touch. Sarah had moved on by then and was completely, utterly disinterested. Ghosting in this context, or in fact most contexts when it comes to dating, is so immature. Count your blessings, you've seen them for what they really are. A very childish person. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description, just down below. When somebody's toxic, they're a combination of being immature, selfish, rude, ignorant, arrogant and negative. And they're classic flakers. They're the people who love to throw you and anyone they can under the bus just to get a rise out of you. Just to see how you'll react, respond and be like. Your response, your pain, that is the supply which is almost like a drug to them that they feed off and become addicted to. Years ago when I was single, I remember talking to a woman who I was interested in dating. We spoke all the time. We found each other very attractive. I assumed the best of her and us, but I was wrong. Truth was, she was toxic. She was a liar, a manipulator, a troublemaker, an entitled princess, very selfish. When things were going really well between us, that was when she decided to cause trouble. She decided to ghost me. When do you ask? When did this woman decide to blank me, ghost me, and be difficult with me? On Valentine's Day. I planned to take her out, I booked a meal and other stuff, and to what avail? She ghosted me, screamed my calls, embarrassed and humiliated me. Amazingly, she got in touch a few weeks later and said, Truthfully, I wanted you to chase me and I know my worth. I love creating drama. It shows how good of a man you are to me if you bothered to chase me, but you never did. I blocked her immediately and ghosted her by not responding and never saw or spoke to her ever again. Yes, some people unfortunately are toxic. And some people thrive off being toxic, difficult, flaking, ghosting. Speaking from experience here, please ignore these people. And if they ghost you, use it as a reason to never pursue them ever again. Let me tell you a real world opposite example of when someone is not ghosting you. They respond to your messages. They reply to your messages. They answer your calls. They call you back. They apologize if they've delayed in getting back to you late, or if they've been working, or if they've run out of battery. They get back to you. As I record this, I've been with my current partner for six happy months, 
and we're closer than ever before. From the moment we met, we never ghosted each other. Never. No games, no lies, no manipulation, no BS. Absolutely none of that. It was easy and simple, as it should be. Literally from the moment we first spoke, everything was effortless. That's why we're dating, because we're mature. We're on the same page about those kind of things as well. So when you do get ghosted, if you get ghosted, just delete the number, ignore them, do not chase them, and move on. Because, speaking from personal experience here, I'm telling you that there are decent, kind, genuine people out there who don't ghost you, even from the beginning. And they're interested. They want the best for you. Even early on, they just want to get to know you. Pursue them instead. It'll be worth it when you do. And in the end, you would have attracted someone better suited for you in the long run.